guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video we will be making a DTF print so I will be making a shirt with a DTF transfer and I will be doing a small size DTF transfer so I will be using A4 DTF foam and this is a DTF foam that I will be using let me turn that the correct way for you so it says G Fancy Premium DTF Foam and it's A4. So that's what that is. And also I will be using their DTF powder that I have over here. This is their DTF transfer powder, the G Fancy DTF transfer powder. So basically these are what I'm gonna be printing on. Usually with the DTF Pet Foam, they usually label it like face up because some of us can get confused. So I really do appreciate that it's been labeled and this is the side you print on basically that's what they're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my image is mirror and then I'm going to go ahead and execute. Nope. You want to make sure you check that your settings is all good. I usually take this to 50. Okay, I usually take my ink limit to 50% on my color. And on my white, I take it to 75. So here, this is the settings that works best for me. So you can play around and see what works best for you. When I started, I started at 25 and 50 as that was the instructions and how to set it up. But as I went ahead and play around with it, I figured that 50% up here on the collar and 75% here works great for me. The print settings, I leave it as is, user defined. Then here you go to the white and this needs to be 100% white under any color pixel and everything else for me remains the same. I'm going to go to the printer and you just want to make sure your right printer is selected. So this is mine and this is also correct. And here you can change the resolution of your white. I keep mine at 1440 by 1440 DPI. Um, my color and on my white. The pen, sometimes I will take my white down to 1440 by 720, but I get perfect print as it is right here. So for this, my layout, it's on, I usually print on A3 paper. So the 11 by 811, 17, 0.717 is usually like within that limits I print for my larger prints. You can actually change this in order to reflect that you're printing on a A4 film, but I do not. That's basically because this red line right here, this dotted red line right here is letting you know that you are going over a A4 size paper. So image is mirrored, so everything looks perfect for me. I just run through it again, run through my printer, run through my collar, and this one, you don't wanna forget this one. So this is very important. Then I just go to file. We mirrored our image earlier. You can always check if you don't remember if you did and it will have a blue box around it. That's mean that you clicked it already. So now I'm just gonna go to file. I am going to hit print. Here, you wanna make sure these two boxes are selected. Print color first, then print color plus white. And I do not do anything else, but make sure these two boxes are selected. And then I just hit film is already inserted. You usually, you wanna make sure this is closed. As you can see, you can see the paper right there and you can see all that white. So that's because the white is printing like on top of the color. 
which is perfectly how it's supposed to be. So once you're doing a print and you do not see that white, then your printer ain't printing right. So I'll just leave that there. As you can see our print is ready and this is flashing green and red. And if I do this to remove my paper, it doesn't really come out. So I'll just go ahead and I will take this out like that. Here we go. So I will take this over to my pan and I will sprinkle the DTF powder. I'm going to put this here and I have my transfer powder. I will go ahead and start sprinkling my powder over my print. So as you can see, I sprinkle it on the bottom and then I'll just run it along to the top or the bottom. So basically I'm just taking that powder that I sprinkle on here and going from top to bottom. And you can do that like three times just to make sure you get your image covered. You want to make sure your print is covered with paper. So you can do it as many times as you want. And for me, this looks perfect. So I'll just hold this here. And I'll take my finger and I'll just tap. I'll just tap. And this is the back of my print. And this is the front. I'm holding this upside down, am I? Yep. Okay. So this is actually the front right here. Look how beautiful that is on this transfer paper. And the DTF powders adhere to the back. So I will take this to my convection oven. It's at 250 degrees and I will set it in there for two minutes. And I will be back with how it looks like after I take it out of my convection oven. Okay, so after curing this in my convection oven for two minutes at 300, oh no, at 250 degrees. So this is what it looks like in the back, 250 degrees for two minutes. And this is what it looks like in the front. So basically I am gonna go ahead and press this on my shirt. I have my shirt and my heat press. My heat press is set at 330 degrees. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center this right here. As you can see, it is a perfect size for a ute. This is a size seven shirt, I believe, maybe a seven, eight. So we'll just set that in the middle. When you're pressing your DTF transfer, what you wanna do is make sure you have a piece of parchment paper that you can go ahead and set right over this. It is not necessary in order to have a cover, but at the same time, it is necessary because sometimes your film will lift on the top of your heat press and then it will not set back down on the right spot and then you'll mess up your shirt and your print. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for 15 seconds. So when this reach 45, I'm gonna lift this back up and then we're gonna let it cool down, 46, 45. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift that, take my parchment paper off. So you wanna take your shirt off and just put it somewhere where it can cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a cool peel as most uh, pet foam is. So I'll just lay this flat over here. Okay, so I went ahead and I peel it off and I will say it was a very smooth peel. It's like I really have to be careful with how I peel or when I peel. This was cool. It wasn't cold and this is like it was almost a perfect peel. I press this and I peel it. I'm going to throw it back on the heat press and I'm going to throw it back here. 
And I'm gonna take that same parchment paper, parchment paper that I had before, and I'm gonna go ahead and press this for five to 10 seconds. It doesn't need to press too long. And there was actually no lifting edges on this one when I was peeling it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that up at the basically like seven to eight seconds. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. If you like to, sometimes when you, before you lift this up, you can take, uh, you can smooth it out if you want to do that. Because sometimes it does take the form of the wrinkle up the parchment paper. So you can always smooth it out and then you can lift it back up. And this is the final result. I am definitely feeling this transfer paper. And it's a G Fancy Premium DTF Transfer Foam. And it does really have a smooth peel to it. And there was not much edges left in. And it was, like I said, it was cool, but it wasn't cold. And I also used their powder. But I am definitely going to get more of this. And as you can see, I do not need to buy more of this right now. But I will definitely get this in an A3 size too because I love this. So once again, thank you for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, peace out.